Welcome to the presentation of TreeCalc. In this first slide, we present to you the program for the TreeCalc presentation. There will be three parts in this presentation. The first part is a theoretical presentation of TreeCalc characteristics with special emphasis on some differential aspects that distinguish TreeCalc in the architectural, engineering, construction software market. On the second part, we are going to show you TreeCalc in action. With TreeCalc, we are going to show you how to make an all-in-one structural project from modeling to detailing in an integrated workflow. So let's start our first part of the presentation. First of all, presentation is in it. So my name is Carlos Ribeiro and I'm a structural engineer in Artec Technical Department. And I will be your host for the first part of our presentation. Let me also say that uh, these slides have a lot of text for facilitating the communication between both sides. We understand each other better if we have a text that we can follow throughout the presentation, mainly in the theoretical part. So, TreeCalc is much more than a structural calculation software. Nowadays, TreeCalc is a complete and a fully integrated solution for the design of structures. From modeling, to detailing and fabrication of the structure, TreeCalc is a all-in-one solution. For modeling, TreeCalc uses the finite element method with the auto-generated meshing for more precise analysis results and uses algorithmic process for a personalized and automatic reinforcement sizing and detailing. So the images that we have in this slide represents the all-in-one process in TreeCalc. We have the model, the finite element mesh in slabs and walls. We have the analysis with the ease of values uh, graphical presentation of displacements, a render visualization of the modeling, and the detailing of columns and beams, reinforced columns and beams, and also uh, an expertise information about the uh, work done by Tricalc on the, dim the dimensioning of the structure. In this slide, we present several, the several steps of the all-in-one solution of TreeCalc. We added one uh, first step that is not needed, it's optional, but uh, for some uh, users, for some engineers, it is a must, so uh, data import was included on this slide. What is data import? is when uh, the engineer, the user, has the need to import uh, a model from a BIM software like uh, Revit or Archicad or other BIM software. So how TreeCalc lives with this uh, data import? Well, uh, there are two ways of uh, do uh, data import uh, of BIM models. There's a BIM, uh, the bidirectional connection with uh, softwares that uh, produce the FC files. Uh, so uh, TreeCalc opens the EFC files and exports the FC file. And this EFC file exported by TreeCalc and recovered by TreeCalc keeps and respects the families in Revit. That is an important uh, factor to take in consideration. The second method is a direct BIM connection. This is uh, Artex technology and links the elements in TreeCalc and Revit by the GID number. So that's why it's called a direct beam. Direct because it uses the same space in the computer's memory to interchange the, the information between TreeCalc and Revit. The other steps of the work process of the workflow in TreeCalc are represented from left to right. The modeling in the geometry, the assign of loads, the computation, analysis of the structure behavior, the design of the structure, the detailing of the structure, 2D and 3D detailing, and finally the reports that we need to uh, present. In geometry, uh, I would like to emphasize the numerous um, typo typologies that TreeCalc uh, includes like uh, light seal framing, scaffolding, 
concrete, uh, steel structures, mixed structures, wood structures, pile and caps uh, elements, uh, tie beams, uh, puttings, uh, slabs, several types of slabs, uh, and all those uh, elements are uh, integrated in one matrix, in one model, and uh, everyone uh, interacts with everyone. So it's one calculation, one model. In the loads department, I called attention to the more than 25 types of loads categories that recalc has. Uh, live load, dead load, uh, seismic loads, wind loads, temperature load, um, mobile loads, uh, and they can be all automatically combined or explicit combined. On the computation, on the computation uh, department, I would like to talk about the second order iterative P-delta analysis that Recalc does. This uh, provides a more accurate calculation and is uh, ideal for st uh, steel structures and uh, especially for light steel framing structures. Also, the error code national and X regulations are included in Recalc, so that's uh, another uh, differential aspect that we call S. In the analysis, we can talk about uh, study the behavior of the structure in a multi-window environment with a multi-view uh, cap capacity, uh, a wire render uh, view of graphics and diagrams, uh, a mouse over information display of displacements and efforts, when we put the mouse cursor over uh, a node, we have the information of display, of displacements. When we put the mouse cursor over a bar, we have the information of uh, efforts. Reinforcement resizing and detailing in 2D and 3D. Uh, the reinforcement resizing is done by uh, algorithmic uh, process, but we can personalize that uh, sizing. We can define the minimum diameter, the maximum diameter, and uh, with that general options or particular options, we can achieve the best design results. Finally, we have the 2D, the 3D detailing, the final sheets projects, and the final reports to present. The detailing has uh, hundreds of options, so we can personalize uh, these uh, detailings. To, uh, what we are used to. Okay, uh, let's uh, talk now about uh, integrated versus disruptive work process. In the left side, we have Tricalc, a volume one software for structural project, like we said before, and it's an integrated process. So there are no risks, the information is all uh, automatically uh, passed. Phase by phase, and it's uh, a very uh, it's a beam uh, uh, a beam thinking, one model, one calculation, one analysis, all integrated. On the right side, we have uh, a disruptive work process. We have a software for modeling, like Revit. We have a software for calculating. Uh, we have a software that sometimes calculates and uh, makes uh, the design of the steel uh, areas needed for the columns and the beams, but doesn't uh, doesn't uh, do the, the detailing. Sometimes we have also a need for a 2D CAD software, and sometimes we have seismic and foundation calculations done in uh, different softwares. So we are talking about one software, one process, integrated uh, calculation, and in the other side, we have three to five different softwares that are not integrated and where uh, data is circulating in, uh, in, in several directions, and uh, it's a dangerous process uh, to work. Well, 
the, the next slides are going to be a more uh, rapid ones because it all uh, it are they are all about images uh, of tree calc and talking a little about those images. Uh, we have here several structures that are modulated in tree calc. First, a mandatory structure with finite element measures uh, represented. A light steel framing model, panel by panel, was modeled in this 3D structure. And a concrete structure with column, beams, concrete walls or varying walls, slabs, footings, and uh, the finite element mesh represented. The ease of values displacement graphic, vertical displacement graphic represented, and also uh, the detailing, the reinforcement concrete uh, detailing of the columns represented in 3D uh, on the right image. Here we have some other models scaffolding, uh, industrial shed with cap and piles, that's a new uh, type of structure. A tall concrete building in here with uh, concrete uh, columns, beams, slabs, prefabricated slabs, and uh, also load bearing walls. Uh, another structure, another concrete structure with uh, peripheral, peripheral retaining walls, uh, some walls with uh, piles, uh, and others with steel, uh, with steel elements. In this slide, we uh, give emphasis to the several uh, wizards, some of the several wizards or assistants present in TreeCalc. They are all parametric, they all have a, a graphical window that uh, illustrates every parameter that we are uh, changing. And in here, we have the assistant for the stairs, assistant for the scaffolding, linear scaffolding, assistant for the industrial shed, in this case, uh, the step of uh, assigning wind to the structure and uh, the wizard or assistant for the connection, the steel uh, connection between a column and uh, uh, a beam, a bolt column, uh, a bolt connection uh, represented. Seismic analysis to prints from a, a, a movie produced by Tricalc with the, the behavior of the structure, with the seismic behavior of the structure. Uh, also, um, in here, the representation of an academic uh, structure. This shows the flexibility that Recalc has to uh, do complicated structures and uh, also the cap capacity to analyze uh, from different views, from different plans, with different uh, graphics options, the behavior of the structure. In here, also, uh, the emphasis is on the capacity of analyzing the behavior of the structures you take out. There is a column uh, uh, that is connected to a slab with no beam, so the vertical displacement in here does some uh, sp the additional efforts on this column and on these beams that are represented in here. There is also some 3D uh, representations of the deformation uh, of the structures and ease of values uh, represented uh, in one slab. More information. Uh, this is a slide that represents the all-in-one process. The modeling, uh, the mesh, uh, the analysis, the render, the uh, dimensioning and detailing of the trickle. focus on the dimensioning and detailing of the concrete, uh, inclined beam, uh, beam with different heights, uh, table of columns, concrete columns, uh, beam, concrete beam represented in here, uh, peripheral retaining wall uh, reinforcements in here, and uh, expertise anal analysis of uh, column, concrete column. Another example of how the, capaci the uh, capacities of TreeCalc in visualization and representation of the uh, behavior of the structures is very, very good. In this case, in this special case, this industrial shell uh, uh, have a special problem in here. Uh, there isn't a column, so uh, we have an horizontal displacement that is problematic. The problem is not the vertical displacement, but the horizontal displacement as can be 
as you've seen in this representation. More detailing, uh, at some point uh, we start to understand the 3D detailing of the program. For example, in here we have the bending moments, okay, and we have the reinforcements on this uh, on this beam, the bending moments and the reinforcements. And next to the column we have the negative moments and the reinforcements around the upper side of the beam. On the middle of the beam there are the positive moments, bending moments, so we have the reinforcements on the lower part of the beam. So we start to look at the 3D uh, detailing and start to understand the diagrams and the reinforcements that were calculated and detailing by Trical. Some special elements in here, plates connecting steel columns to concrete columns, hollow structures, mensary structures with the wood elements on the interior, scaffoldings, circular scaffoldings, multilinear scaffoldings, scaffoldings assigned to a DWG file and the quantities take, on, take off from uh, scaffoldings in Clickout. Light steel frame structures might be the help of the assistant or the wizard. Step by step we made each panel and each panel will make a 3D structure of light steel frame. We're going to uh, see more in detail the scaffolding and light steel framing uh, in the practices uh, part of our presentation. Okay? Uh, these uh, types of um, these, these two typologies are uh, some typologies that Recalc has developed in the last years and uh, we are uh, number one uh, on those uh, types of uh, elements. Okay, finally we're going to talk about the beam connections that are provided by Trical. The direct beam connection, we have uh, spoken about, the, uh, about that type of connection before. Trical in one side, the gravity in the other side. Information is uh, exchanged in the same part of the computer's memory and it's direct change of uh, information and beam information because uh, the link between the two models is uh, achieved with the guild number of the beam of the EFC uh, model. Uh, also, the direct beam uh, connection uh, works between all the softwares from Arctic, from Trical to the Gerst and Midplan software, they are all connected through direct beam. The second method for communicating with the Revit is the open beam connection is done with the EFC file generated by uh, the BIM softwares. Trical can import and can export that uh, kind of uh, EFC uh, files. And in the case of the communication with Revit, Trical exports the uh, BIM, the EFC file, with information needed for uh, respecting the families of Revit. So it's a differential aspect that Trical has. And with this, uh, my first part of the presentation is over. So the second part of the presentation is with my colleague Hugo. Uh, I will be back to present to you a movie about the beam and direct beam uh, connection uh, in work, in action. So now I leave you, uh, you with uh, Hugo. See you soon.